हरिओम शारदा मा भजन भजन शरण नारायण भजे नारायण लक्ष्मी नारायण भजे नारायण नारायण भजे नारायण लक्ष्मी नारायण भजे नारायण नारायण भजे नारायण लक्ष्मी नारायण भजे नारायण वृंदावन स्थित नारायण देव वृंदरभीष्टि नारायण दिनक मध्यम नारायण दिव्य कनकांबरधर नारे नारायण लक्ष्मीण भजे नारायण लक्ष्मी नारायण भजे नारायण पंकजलो नारायण नारायण भव्य शरणागत निधि नारायण नारायण भजे नारायण लक्ष्मी नारायण भजे नारायण रक्षित जगत्र नारायण चक्र शिक्षित सुरचय नारायण अज्ञान नाशक नारायण शुद्ध विज्ञान भाषक नारायण नारायण भजे नारायण लक्ष्मी नारायण भजे नारायण नारायण भजे नारायण लक्ष्मी नारायण भजे नारायण नारायण भजे नारायण लक्ष्मी नारायण भजे नारायण भजे नारायण भजे नारायण हरिओम अस्त भेद मन पास्त लक्षण निस्तरंग जल राशि निश्चल निम विभक्त मूर्ति यद ब्रह्म तत्वी भावयात्मने एक सदनेकणराश्य कारण कार्य कारण विलक्षण स्वयं ब्रह्म तत्वी भावयात्मने निर्विकल्पक मनलक्षर यक्षराक्षर विलक्षण परम निमव्यय सुखम निरंजनम ब्रह्म तत्वी भावयात्मने यदि सदने कथा भ्रमागुण विक्रियात्मना हेमवत्म विक्रिय सदा ब्रह्म तत्वी भावयात्मने यन परम परात्पर प्रत्यगे कर सत्यचित्सुखमनंत सत्यचित्सुखमनमव्यय ब्रह्म तत्वी भावयात्मने ब्रह्म तत्वी 
भावयात्मनि सहनावतु सहनो मुनक्तु सह वीर्यम करवावहे तेजस्वीनावतीतमस्तु मावित्वेशावहे ओम शांति 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 हरि ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नमः हरि ओम गुरुब्रह्मा गुरुविष्णु गुरुर्देवो महेश्वर गुरुरेव परम ब्रह्म तस्म वसुदेव सुतम देव कंस चानूरमर्दन देवकी परमानंद कृष्ण वंदे जगद्गु समस्त जन कल्याणे भद्रम करने भद्रम कर्णे सुयाम देवा भद्रम पश्येम्यजत्रेम देवयु स्वस्ति नो स्वस्ति नूता विश्वेदा स्वस्ति नाख्यो हरिष्ठने स्वस्ति नो बृहस्पति दधा शांति 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 हरि ओम श्री गुरु नम हरि ओम देर आर सर्टन थिंग्स कॉमन between a beggar a king a saint a sinner and whatever religion gender a few things are common in, in fact including animals everybody lives for happiness for happiness and to get rid of pain this is the universal demand and these all these varieties i have mentioned they all disappear in sleep there is no king there is no beggar there is no saint there is no sinna there is no hindu there is no christian there is no muslim all of them disappear plus this what differences which disappear in sleep that is the reason we are peaceful in sleep because it is the mind that disturbs internet connection is unstable. unstable i always say i myself am unstable <laughs> now is it is yes it? yes ah, now they are able to hear okay it was in sleep mode <laughs> <laughs> okay so 
the quantitude in sleep is just cessation of your agitation. It doesn't give you positive joy. Though, what is available at that state is Brahmananda. In sleep, the state is Brahmananda, but you are not there to experience. In Samadhi, it is a state of sleep where there is no mind, but you are there to enjoy. That is the difference between sleep and Samadhi. So these things are common to all. The state of Samadhi, the state of sleep, the state of wanting to be happy, get rid of pain. Right. I want to be Elon Musk. I cannot be. Because God has said, I love you. You do you need not be Elon Musk. <laughs> I want to be Shahrukh Khan. I cannot be. Right? But I want to be Brahman, I can be. It's my decision. It's just my decision. Nothing to happen. People go on postponing. People who are listening for decades. Serious people, sincere people, good people. They have formed concepts. They have formed concepts. And therefore, they think we have to do something. Some days it will happen. What do you have to do to know yourself? To do, to get something what you don't have, you have to do something. Here you are yourself. Negate all that is not you. What remains is you. Negate all that is not you. Thoughts are not you. Body is not you. Because you say my body, my mind. What is mine cannot be you. Whatever is known as mind cannot be the self. So negate all that is seen, mind, and what remains is the seer you. It doesn't take long. Only thing is, it won't be very clear in the beginning. It's mixed up. Panchadashi says, you go to you pick up your son or ward in the class. There are all 40 people chanting Gita. You cannot say you can't hear your son or ward's voice, but you cannot also say you can hear. It's You hear, but it's not clear. When the other night 39 keep quiet, you can hear it clearly. Even this vague feeling Vague understanding, this is me, everything else is not me. That is enough. Even a vague understanding, first of all, even an intellectual conviction gives you a lot of strength. And a vague understanding, you have known what it is. After that, you will get disturbances. But you know, they are finite, they are not me. They are finite, they are not me, they are not real. They are not they, me, they are they are not real. So therefore, this is what we have to strive, strive. You don't want to be, you have to be Elon Musk. You don't have to be Shah Rukh Khan because oh, whoever he may be, as long as you are in the level of comparison. You cannot have peace. You are in the level of comparison. You cannot have peace. The only place where you have no comparison is yourself, because that is the only self everywhere. That's why it's common to all. That's why it's, it is. There is no comparison, and it's full and complete. It's full income. 
for all of us, I'm not talking about people who are not exposed to this. God is taking them step by step. Someday they will bring him, bring him, bring them to this. Nobody is left by God. According to their need, he provides. Nobody is ignored by God. It's a false statement. God forsaken man. You forsake God. God doesn't forsake you. So it's a, it's not a pleasant thing that people who have been blessed to come to a guru's place, have a guru, still uh, are not that much hungry. I want the food now. They go on inquiring about the food. What are all the various items? Right? What are all the ingredients? Nutrition suggestions. That means you are not hungry. If you are hungry, anything given you will eat. So these people who are going on postponing this experience, which can be got immediately, are by their own concepts. They think because they are used to nothing comes without asking in the world, without doing, without asking. In the world, nothing comes without doing and without asking. Satish was not, is not going to be there till now but that year. I have to ask Radha to give me lift. You have to ask. When I ask, he is ready. Right? So, you believe if ordinary things are like that, Godhood cannot be without work, without doing. So, you believe sadhana. Sadhana is all right. I cannot say sadhana, you don't need. Shankaracharya has written sadhana panchakal. How can I say sadhana is not? But what is the purpose of sadhana? What is the purpose of sadhana? See, certain things I make rash statements. You have to understand in the context, otherwise you have to ask me questions. But rash statements are necessary for to break the concepts. For a Siddha Vastu, what is Sadhana? Siddha Vastu, it's already there. What is Sadhana? It's only Nana. You don't know it is there. You have to know. There is no Sadhana for a Siddha Vastu. But then Sadhana, why? Sadhana because you are not mentally prepared to listen, to commit. To listen, to commit. Preparation of this mind is sadhana. <coughs> Preparation of this mind is sadhana. When should you go to that? You should first listen and try to understand what the teacher says. Try to feel its presence. It you are not able to at all understand, then you need sadhana. If you were able to understand even a little, then go to the teacher and ask little, little doubts that you get. Little, little doubts that you get. You should not assume you don't know, you can't know, therefore I should do sadhana, come to it. Right? Should not assume. The ninety percent of the people, because I am, we are in uh, dealing with advanced students in our groups. People in our groups are all advanced because the others have been filtered. I change from group to group. You understand? Because there it is general. It, you need that also. General group also need you need because there are a lot of nice things. Where else you will put? But certain groups are only for manana, spirituality. <clears throat> Even they go on postponing. They don't think they can get it immediately. So this is what we have to try. 
That is what Mandukya says. Nathapya. This has to be known. Why it has to be known? Because its knowledge removes all your sorrow. Its knowledge removes all your sorrow and presents to you the bliss, the happiness, the Brahman that you are. How can you say, no, my, my problems are too many, I don't have the time, I don't have the peace. Stupid fellow, all your problems are all for this happiness. How can you say you don't have time for this? How can you say you don't have time? Time for everything else. The, the moment you get this, you don't have problems because they are all useless. You don't need it. So this is the priority. Therefore, the Upanishad. Upanishad removes all the obstacles and presents you to yourself. This can be done, Upanishad, not this Upanishad. The Atman that does the job of Shad. Shad is to remove. Gati, Visarana, Avasadana, sorry, Avasadana, Visarana, Gati. Loosening the knots. Destroying the ignorance and take you the, to the good. Right? That is the Upanishad. This Upanishad is seconded. It helps. Without this, you cannot get that. But the Upanishad, in its true sense, is the Atma. Because that alone can destroy ignorance. And loosen your bondages and give you the happiness that you are. This is the Atma. Just like Bombay is standing on platform four. Bombay cannot stand on platform four. But the vehicle that takes you to Bombay is also named as Bombay. Similarly, this Upanishad that takes you there is also called Upanishad. This is a means, Aparavitya. This is called Parav. This is Apara, this is Para. So that is the purpose of Vedanta. That is the purpose of all Upanishads. Nothing is more important than that. Nothing is more important than that. To say, oh, my, my life is complicated, my responsibilities, that means you are stupid. The moment you get this knowledge, the problems are not solved, problems are dissolved. You discover the very problems are all imaginations. The problems are imaginations. You created the problems. Who asked you to marry? <laughs> you thought it's a problem and you got married. And now, third ring. What is the third ring? Engagement ring, wedding, suffering. <laughs> Even that is a problem. No. It's a great satsang. Marriage is not a problem. It's a great satsang. If the husband and wife have the same mind, it's a great satsang. It's not a problem. Without the Kronastas, the world won't move. Sannyasis are able to live because of the Kronastas. It is the Kronastas that produce the sadhaks for them to evolve. So it's not a thing to be laughed at. But what is beautiful, you make it sorrowful and you enjoy the third rate jokes like me cutting. It's not true. It's not true. 
right? You make it. You make it. Little counseling for family people. You always demand your right. The other man also demands his right. There won't be peace in that house. Supposing you say, whatever you say, it is okay for me. He goes two times faster than you and says, it doesn't matter to me, whatever you do. Like in the queue. You stand in the queue, somebody comes. Pahale aap. He will say, pahale aap, pahale aap, and then you, you will go to the front. You will go on asserting, you will be pushed back. That is why Tyagena Yekena Avatatva Manushuti. So, our priority in life, whatever may be your situation, whatever may be your situation, is this knowledge. Is this knowledge. You can't say, I have so many things. This, I cannot afford time, I don't have time. Stupid. Stupid. Right? So, that Mount Yuki very clearly says why you have to read this. It doesn't come in the beginning. Like I am giving the talk in the beginning. Why you should read? It doesn't come. It gives as palace what happens when you know this? Palaswati, it says, Nihatte Sarvadu, uh, sorry, uh, Nihatte Sarvadu Kha, Nivrutti, my own handwriting, I am not able to read. Nivrutte Sarvadu Kha, Ishanaha Prabhu Abhyaha, Advaitam Sarvabhavana, Devaha Kudyo Nivruhu Smrataha, Power of the mantras. As I am reading, my mind becomes quiet. Even talking is difficult. That is the power of these mantras. Nivrutte sarva dukkha nam. Palasruti. It's not giving in the beginning like me. After explaining everything, why you should know? Nivrutte sarva dukkha nam. For all your sorrows to end. For all your sorrows to end. Ishanaha Prabhu Abhyaya Advaitam Sarvabhavana Devaha Tulyo Vibhu Smrutaha. For all your problems to go, you should come to that fourth stage, Turiya. Turiya, Turiya, right? Fourth stage. Three stages Jagra, Swapna, Sushupta. Right? Fourth stage, that which was before, please mark, just don't skip what I am saying. I could I, I to tell this in the normal way is Turya, Turya is the fourth one. That is beyond Jagra Swapna Sushupti, Turya. That doesn't help you understand what I am saying. Turiya is was, it was there before Jagra Swapna Sushupti. Turiya is the one who supports Jagra Swapna Sushupti. Turiya is the one who appears as Jagra Swapna Sushupti. Turiya is the one that is after Jagra Swapna Sushupti. That means Turiya is the only essence that supports all appearances. That is the governing factor of all of us, Ishanaha, Lord, Prabhu, Vibhu, all pervading. What lovely words. Ishanaha, whose will alone makes the world move. Prabhu, the Lord, the governor, Vibhu, the all pervading. That is Turiya. Abhyaya imperishable. Knowing that, Nivrutte Sarva Dukkhana, all your sorrows are ended. But you didn't say I will get happiness. Happiness is your nature. 
is you they are covered by dukkhas the moment dukkhas are removed happiness shines by itself happiness shines by itself and the easiest way to know this is you must make a note because this is what we did in brudarinika this is the simplest truth the best meditation yato va imani bhutani jayanti yena jatani jivanti yat prayatya bhivishanti from which all expressions come out imani bhutani all expressions waking comes out of this consciousness dream deep sleep the body the mind the intellect the past the present the future all rise in this consciousness everything rises from this consciousness therefore their essence is consciousness from god from gold you cannot get iron from gold gold alone can if everything has come from god everything has to be god god is blissful i am not blissful therefore your knowledge is defective your knowledge is effect right to make us understand this advaita that is god alone is there that's called advaita he could have said one no there is never a one without reference to two when you say one it's with reference to two advaita that which has no second that means that alone is there kevala kaivalya right advaita that alone is there to make you know this the whole mantukya is given in the shortest form 12 mantras in that also with the seventh mantra the text is over 8 9 10 11 12 our upasanas the teacher always the upanishadic style gives the highest in the beginning if there are difficulties he comes down he doesn't assume that you don't understand you can't understand and start from the beginning it, no teacher does it the moment you come i am having problem right he will say what's your problem Sir, my leg is paining. Your leg is paining. You tell me what problem you have. My leg is paining. Your leg is paining. You are conscious of that. In sleep, it is not there. That pain is not known. So where is your problem? All the time thinking about the leg. All the time thinking about the leg. problem in the leg is much better than problem in the mind so a teacher simply makes you in first 3 minutes you are not the body you are not the mind you are not the intellect you are that which always says my body my mind my intellect you are that consciousness that give life to the body mind intellect because a dead body cannot move cannot think and a, a prepared student gets the experience as the teacher says a prepared student gets it and if there is difficulty then he comes down then he gives logics first upadesha then upapatti logics we saw in rudarantha even that is difficult then upasana so mantuka is over in seven and after that upasana kenopanishad also briefest he says beautifully 
Then the boy asked, please teach me Upanishad. After every talk is over, then the teacher understands this fellow is dull. So then he gives Upasanas. Upanishadam Bruhi. After he is finished teaching, right? Upanishadam Bruhi. Then he gives Upasanas. So Mandukya, in seven mantras, it's over. In fact, is it seven? First mantra itself, it's over. Right? First mantra itself, it's over. Okay, we'll go to the text. Because I would like to finish it before January 2nd. Because January 2nd, we start Bhagavatam. After that, he is going for Kumbha Mela. That means January gone. Right? Then February. Why should we postpone? We'll try to finish before January 2nd. So that's why I extended 15 minutes. 6.45 to eight. Okay. Pandya Upanishad, the names of the Upanishads are very peculiar. Why? Because the masters of the Upanishad, they never thought of writing a book, publishing, putting their name. They never thought. They got revelations. As you progress in spirituality, you will understand this word revelations. Because suddenly flashes come to your mind. In bathroom, mostly it comes. That's called revelations. Right? So as the revelations come, like Eureka, Eureka, Archibald shouted, these people shout. They are the Upanishads. They have no time to sit and write. They don't have time to sit and write. They are not interested either. Because for them, God alone is real. Everything else is Mithya. Therefore, for them, your problem is also Mithya. Why do you need a solution? Why am I to give you a solution? The God that is real is in you. He will take care of your progress. It's not my duty to teach you. If I am teaching, it's his program. The world doesn't improve by my, by my teaching. The world doesn't stagnate if I don't teach. It's his program. Not only for you, for my good. Because teaching is the only way and the best way to reflect meditation. Right? So therefore, they, they don't give a name. Others give a name. It's called Mandukya because one version is the Rishi is Manduka. Another version is it jumps from one state to other. Jagrat like a frog. Jagrat to Sokna, Sokna to Shushupti. Therefore, it's called Mandukya frog. This comes in other one way. Three Upanishads out of the ten come from other one way. Mandukya, Mundaka, Prasna. Comes from other one way. So, this Mandukya. Many people have said, Mandukya Eva Alam. This alone is enough. That means seven slokas is enough. Karika was given to us out of compassion by Gaudapada. It, it doesn't belong to the Upanishad. Upanishad, first chapter, it's over. Agama Prakarana. Out of compassion for us. And he himself likes, likes you know. Once you are doing this, you would like to talk only about this. Once you got this, 
you would like to talk about this only. Katayanti, Tushyanti, Ramanti. Right? Katayanti, mutually talking. Tushyanti, they feel happy. Ramayanti, they revel. Right? So, Mount Dukya name is given because of these two reasons. It belongs to Adharvana Veda. The speciality of Mount Dukya, as seen by Gaudapada, because for us it is not very clear in the Upanishads. That topic is not taken in that way. As seen by Gaudapada, the way the entire purpose of this is Advaitam, therefore no creation. No creation. Creation itself, he doesn't say false. Karika doesn't say creation is false. Karika doesn't say there is no creation. He says there is no creation. If there is no creation, it should be false. No. He says that is the Sobhava of Bhagavan. That is the nature. It is the nature of the ocean to project waves. It is not sitting there and creating waves. Waves are not created by the ocean. It is its nature to throw out the waves. Similarly, Bhagavan's nature is to throw out farms, play with them, take them back. Right? Why in every Upanishad, in every text, including Bible, first thing is creation. Bible also. Why? Because once you understand creation, you understand creation itself is not re real. Then your problems are not real. Therefore, creation is the first thing every scripture talks about. Okay? And to understand that, you need some logical thing. This more you talk about the Vedanta, the more the speakers confuse the listener. I give you more questions than the answers. Right? Because we want to show off our scholarliness. Right? So people get more and more confused. So what does it do? It says, it's very simple. Whole Vedanta Advaita is home. Whole Advaita, whole Vedanta is home. How can that be? See, it's manufacturer's defect. I start somewhere and don't enter into the text and I cannot finish it. What can I do? Right? Some idea comes. I can't proceed without sharing it. How warm is our oh, Vedanta. Veda means knowledge. Veda means knowledge. That's why in Chinmaya Mission, person in charge of book sales is Veda. Right? Veda means knowledge. Why knowledge is important? Can you do anything meaningful without knowledge? Even eating. Eating. Nothing you can do without knowledge. And all those knowledges are Dukkha Nagriti, Sukha Prati. But they are all still finite. That which gives the ultimate solution, Dukkha Nagriti and Sukha Prati is the end of all knowledges, the height of all knowledges. Therefore, it's called Veda Anta. Anta means end. The goal of all knowledges. So Vedanta, Veda is important, knowledge. Right? So this knowledge is voluminous. Shankara had four students. Four students had four schools of thought. 
Tenker as himself. Right? So, Gaudapa, not Gaudapa, the Ma, our uh, Mandu Karushi wanted to make it simple because that is the method where ambiguity is minimized. Sutra, Alpartam, Astobhyam, Asandigdham, Alpaksharam, Asandigdham, Astobhyam, Anavadhyam. Briefest, a sutra should be briefest so that it, misinterpretations cannot be many. So he said, Om is enough. How Om is enough? What is your Advaita? There is nothing other than God. Immediately, the teacher himself correct, sorry, 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 there is no God also. Because if God is there, you are there. It is Dvaita. What is Advaita? You alone are there. You alone are there. Everything that you see inside and outside is only you. Both inside and outside is only you. Right? So the differences, that's also you. Where from the differences started? When you sleep, you have no difference. The moment you get up, all differences are there. Therefore, differences belong to the mind. Because in sleep, when the mind is not there, you don't experience differences. Difference belongs to the mind, not to you. But without you, they cannot be experienced. They don't belong to you. But without you, you can't experience them. This is what our Gurudev says, relationless relationship. There is no relationship between the snake and the rope. There is no relationship between the snake and the rope. But without the rope, there cannot be a snake. Right? So the whole world is you only, your projection, your mind. You see me as a bluffer. Does an ant see me? Ant doesn't understand. What is this Rakshasa? It doesn't understand. But I have been watching the, all these insects. In them also, there is the preservation instinct. The moment you know you are going there, you know, this Rakshasa will kill me. They try to escape. Those instincts are provided by God, even in them. And the knowledge where it is available. All those things are provided by right? So the whole world is you. Then what about the differences? It's your mind. How? In sleep, you slept. That's the state of God. You start dreaming. Your friend, your enemy, your friend, your enemy, your in-law, right? Your in-laws, your officer, your son, your wife. Difference. Wife is not a son. Officer is not your enemy. Your friend is not an enemy. All are different. But after waking up, do you all see them all to be different? They are all you projected different. Why? Because of different names and forms. They mm -hmm. appear different. The wave, the bubble, the foam, they are all ocean. They are all ocean. So they are all project like that. By you. You projected first as an individual. Right? And then 
you projected god virat hiranyakarma and jishwara you only you only first from bhagwan you became ishwara then hiranyakarma then virat now you see the same thing what is seen clearly is virat what is behind it is hiranyakarma much more than that is ishwara all you only it will come here very clearly in the uh, Twelfth Karika of the first chapter. Kalpe Kalpayati Atmana Atma. You create yourself by yourself. That's the word. Kalpayati Atmana Atma. So Maya by your own power. By your own power. I, I will tell you something very simple but essential for you to be happy. the worst of human being in the world comes before you you do not recognize him as the worst of human being you just love him can your peace be disturbed you just love him can your peace be disturbed the best of swamis can come before you you start judging them can you be peaceful who is your enemy who is your friend you world has no potency world has no potency to disturb you or to give you peace therefore this entire world is yourself projecting through the power in you to appear as many like the one gold without changing has the power in it to appear as different elements like the water the one water to appear as waves bubbles etc you have the power in you to appear differently like a stream this whole thing has to be put into the concept all that we know is waking state dream state deep sleep state that much we know but we fail to understand i remember my waking i remember my mind the waker sorry i remember my dream the waker is not the dreamer the waker is a beggar the dreamer is a king or the reverse the waker is a king the dreamer is a beggar so both are different both are in sleep both are not there in sleep both are not there so the waking is different dream is different deep sleep is different if different different the waker is different the dreamer is different deep sleeper is different you cannot remember because different different people's experience you cannot remember there has to be a common factor which experienced which was there but which was not involved which was not in world then only memory is possible i can't remember your experiences you can't remember my experiences memory is possible when the experiencer and the rememberer are the same so waking ego is different dream ego is different the deep sleep ego is different but i remember waking dream and deep sleep so i must be different from waking dream and deep sleep i am the one who experienced waking dream and deep sleep when they are not there i am there when i am not there they are not there this is called anvaya vitiveka nyaya all this is put in one word o how a u ma how did a start before i said a if the same a was continuing you can't hear a uh, it continues you can't hear as a there has to be a silence and in that silence you 
throw air and it becomes ah and it has to end for another letter to start u so all words are expressions of the one silence because what was there in the beginning middle and the end is the essence of everything gold is the essence of earring chain and bangle before it was gold after uh, dissolving it is gold therefore gold is the essence right so aru ma essence is silence silence alone appears as aru ma silence doesn't change silence is infinite in silence no disturbances and the expressions of uma are finite there are disturbances why because you do not know how uma are nothing but the silence if you know they won't disturb you it's okay but then why you need even how uma we can say god and keep quiet no god cannot be known without a form god cannot be known without a form you need a form and there is a form to identify it as a name it has a name so name and form are a must for a beginner even to vaguely see god therefore whom and that whom not merely as a upasana symbol avuma it practically shows you the silence that is turiya that is god it's not mere logic and ama it's not mere logic you can feel the silence between two whoms you can feel the silence between avuma and that silence is consciousness right it's not a mere textual thing it's a thing that's experienced so this womb shows god shows you me god is called para you me avu ma is called apara so this womb kara reveals both para and apara and the whole world is nothing but para and apara the whole world is nothing but para and apara therefore om kara reveals everything there is nothing beyond om kara because there is nothing beyond av om and samadhi or sleep samadhi or sleep is the silence and om so you experience everything you know everything so om kara is the name of god is the form of god is god that is the essence of entire mandukya and uh, out of the 10 upanishads 10 principal upanishads six or seven of them talk about omkara chandogya taitriya brudharanika prashna kato all of them talk about omkara so this omkara is the subject matter and it says hari hi om the first two letters are invocation of god because tradition is you have to do a prayer before you start anything and the here the prayer is hari hi om that itself is complete upanishad who the truth is the one who removes all your ignorance and shows you god hari hi the one who looks away the one who looks away your ignorance is the womb the truth hari hi womb womb iti ek aksharam idam sarvam tasya upadhyam bhutam bhavad bihi bhavad bhavishyad iti sarva mokaram eva yacha anya 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 
अन्यत् त्रिकारातीतः तदपि ओंकार एवा हरि हि ओम ओम इति एकक्षरम इट्स ओनली वन लेटर आवुमा वी आर स्प्लिटिंग सिलेबस बट इट्स ओनली वन लेटर श्री शंकर आल्सो सेज दैट मच स्वामी जी आल्सो बट यू कैन रीड समथिंग मोर देन दैट आल्सो देयर अक्षरम इज इम्पेरिशेबल अक्षरम इज imperishable who is the imperishable who is the imperishable ek akshara one letter this one sarvam sarvam means all all means what animate inanimate apara par sarvam tasya upakhyanam its exposition we shall do भूतम पास भविष्य फ्यूचर इति सर्वम ओंकार ऑल दि साउंड दट यू मेक इन दि यू मेड इन दि पास यू मेक इन दि प्रेसेंट यू शुड मेक इन दि फ्यूचर बिलोंग्स टू साइलेंस साइलेंस वॉज देर बिफोर साइलेंस इज देर नाउ साइलेंस शेल बी देर afterward so all the bhuta bhavat bhavishya all the letters all the sounds are silence why so much of your letters and silence and all because the whole world surveils an identity ids you can't travel anywhere without aadhar card you need the id right so the whole world is id how it is identified as avuma as avuma so therefore this whole thing past present future is nothing but okara okara yacha anyatitam kalatitam oh that i understand past present future jagra sapnashu i understand but then god is there i am there no yet kala atitam this only not present future that which is beyond present past present future what is beyond past present future the very essence of that the very essence of past present future stand in me my consciousness past present and future are disturbances in my consciousness or forms in my consciousness like the wave that is dead wave that is appearing the wave that shall go they are all the expressions of the one water which is beyond the past present and future so kala atmita so what all that belongs to kala apara what is kala atita para so omkara bhuta bhavya bhuta bhavat bhavishya bhuta bhavat bhavishya and kala ati that is everything apara and para is omkara apara expressions para the silence right that if you want karma neva if you can meditate on this you don't need even seven this complete we said seven are the main after that also upasana in fact this one itself is complete therefore he now says because he has only said om kara there in this shloka he has only said om kara he did not explain what is that om kara is there we have been telling because guru parampara but book din se now he says here sarvam yetahi yetat brahm brahmam brahma ayam atma brahma sa ayam atma chatupa ayam this what is this anything closest to you is this that chair 
this table right for this table that table this body that body this cell closest is i am closest is i am this this which cannot be dactified this, this which can never become that is the atma right this that which can never become that is atma that is the essence that is the core atma means this simple thing essence and core right this atma in you which is the closest to you right that is sarvam everything is sarvam why what is the essence in you existence existence is the essence is there a gap between this existent body this existent this thing is there a gap in between also its existence beyond also existence so everything should be modifications of existence and therefore that is the core that is the essence they are all your own expressions as existence they are all your own expressions as existence sarvam idam sarvam etat brahma ayam atma brahma this core this essence is brahma saha ayam atma chatuha this atma has four padas i wa- i won't translate as feet because it's not true shankara clearly says it's not feet like cow has four legs it's not feet bhada means quarters what it means i will explain here i am atma brahma this is the mahavakya i am atma brahma what is a mahavakya that which reveals the identity between the jiva and the brahma right this atma this self is that brahma saha i am atma brahma identity of the jiva and the brahma therefore it's called a mahavakya right we are coming in the reverse first mahavakya is pragnanam brahma aitriya then i am atma brahma second third is tattva masi fourth is aham brahmasmi we did aham brahmasmi first tattva masi next now come to i am atma right what to do sarvam etat brahmam i am atma brahma sa i am atma tattva pa it has four quarters shankara explains what is this quarter right what is this quarter here there are three mantras to give us this quarter the fourth is the seventh mantra we have done two here three more mantras these three quarters and the introduction to the seventh is the sixth mantra what is this pragna pragna is the sixth mantra which is which almost defines the atma but seventh is the clear thing so he is going to take the three padas but before that a small information is necessary for you to understand what is this padas quarters you have a quarter rupee it's not pada means shankara clearly says it's not like cow which is have four legs pada is quarter you have a quarter rupee in our days 80 years before with a quarter you can have a full meal you can have a full meal about 20 years back i went to a hotel gave 1 rupee bought a matchbox and asked for change he was laughing because in our days matchbox was half an hour you understand that means you can get 32 match boxes in one rupee so this quarter 
is quarter rupee. Take it like that. Or quarter down 25 cents. 25 cents. Right? Or anything. Food also divided into quarters. Right? There are several things uh, where quarter is famous. <laughs> okay. So quarter, one quarter. Then second quarter makes it half. Third quarter makes it three quarters. And when you add the fourth quarter, it's not the fourth quarter. It, it's called one. The three quarters lose their individual identities, but they are not lost. But they gain a new identity as one. They are not lost. This quarter, this half, these three quarters are there in the one. But without that one, these three are finite. That one makes it complete. When the quarter in you is the waker, the half, the other quarter, it's not half, the other quarter is the dreamer, the other quarter is the deep sleeper. And all of them are nothing but Turiya. Turiya means four. The fourth quarter. Is it the fourth quarter? No. What? Upanishad says Turiya. Four. Everybody talks about Turiya. You sit, it's not Turiya. Turiya is used only for our understanding. Brahman is not fourth or fifth or third or second. For our understanding, with reference to one, two, three, it is called four. Therefore, the Upanishad doesn't say it is four. Turiyam Manyante. It is thought as the four. Turiyam Manyante. Right? So, he, he, he explained, what is this thing, Vekar? Dreamer, deep sleeper, that is, I, when I identify myself with this body, when my instruments are functioning, I am able to see the external world, I am the waker. I, when these instruments are not available, the impressions gathered in waking, see those words, it's called dream world. When both are taking rest, it's called deep sleeper. So I the same, with this equipment I am the waker, with the mind in the dream I am the dreamer, both not functioning I am the deep sleeper. I am the same. I am the Brahman is the same. Brahman is Vira, waker, Hiranyagarbha, mind, Ishwara Pragna, for individuals is Pragna, for Brahman it is Ishwara and He, beyond all the three, also. Beyond means they are all in Him. He is not in them. They are all in Him. Avuma are in silence. Silence is beyond Avuma. Why? Because it was there before, it shall be there afterward, and therefore the essence of Avuma must be silence only. So also, Brahma alone was there, Brahma alone will be there, essence of everything is Brahma. And therefore, Chetushpa, he has four dimensions. Four dimensions, the waker, the dream sleep, the uh, deep and deep sleep. Why all this information? For you to recognize him. What was common in waking dream and deep sleep? What was there before all these? What shall be there after these? For you to recognize, you need all these expositions. Once you, he, he says, you say, oh, too much, unnecessary. You understand? They are not unnecessary. You need them to recognize that. Turiya, the silence, you need the letters. 
Without the letters, you cannot even know silence. Can you recognize space without the walls and the floor and the top? You need a palm to see anything. You need a palm to know even God. Right? So therefore, the first pada is Jagarte Stanaha Bahish Pregnaha. He is conscious of the external world. Saptangaha. He has seven limbs. Seven limbs, you and I also. But here, because the Virat is called Virat. The total names and forms, Virat. Individual is called Vishwa. Vishwa is nothing but Virat. Therefore, he explains the Virat easy to comprehend. The head, the, the, the he, 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 he is above the head, or the head is his Swargaloka Ityadi, all the celestial words, that's his head. His eye is the sun, Vayu, Vayu. Agni and water are the same in the mood. Pada yat, that is, he is also made up of the same five elements like you and me. And he has also an identity that is called ego. In our case, it's ego which passes us. In his case, he uses the ego. Right? So, Saptangaha, seven limbs. Yego Namanchati Bukaha. 19 mouths through which it gathers all the experiences. Five karmendriyas, five nanendriyas, five pranas, antakkarana, mano, buddhi, ahankara, chitta. 19 mouths through which it gathers its experiences. Mukha, stula bhuk, stula bhuk, vaishvanaraha, he enjoys the gross objects. Meet a woman, a sabre, a pussy. Nate the canoe like a ne, eh? Feasty. Are they sabre? Would you mind? You need the stool of grass food. So for this baker, grass food, stool, he enjoys the grass thing, right? And he has seven limbs. Dreamer also is going to have the same. What is the difference? He is Bahish Pragnaha. He sees external things because the senses are there, the mind is turned outside. The difference between the waker and the dreamer is the instruments plus the time scale. Instruments and the time scale. Otherwise, both are same. If we are going to deal that elaborately in the white akya. Elaborately, how both are seen. We will see that. So, this is the first pada. Second pada is Taijasa, which is the dream. Sapna, sapna sthanantaha pragnaha saptangaha ekovana vinchate mukaha pravivakta buk pravivakta Pravavitta Bhukta Tejaha Vigiya Padaha is Anta Prakna, that is Bahis Prakna. Same Saptangaha, the seven subtle aspects, Yekona Minshita Mukaha, and his objects are subtle inside, that is gross objects. Here it is subtle objects. This is the second Pada. Third Pada, Yatra. Suptaha, Nakanchana, Kamam, Kamayati, Nakanchana, Sopnam, Pachati, Tat to Suptam, where he has no desire, where he doesn't see dreams, that is called Sushupti. No desire is external, this thing grass, nor does he dream. Where both are not there, that's called Sushupti. It's called Swapiti also, because at that time, you attain your real natures. Swam apiti, swapiti. Tat susupta stana yeki bhutaha 
There it has become one mass of consciousness, pragnana ganam, mass of consciousness. Yeva ananda mayo, ananda book. There he is full of ananda and he enjoys ananda book, not the gross object, not the subtle object, but ananda book. Keto mukaha is the gateway for both these. Grass and certain because you cannot dream without going to sleep. Some rare people in the class can do, but uh, normally you need to go to sleep. So that is the cheto upaha through which waker becomes the dreamer. Through the same thing, dreamer becomes the waker. Cheto upaha pragna trutiya padaha. This is the third bit. This pragna is the consciousness. Into which all these have become dormant. They are not lost. They are not lost. The body, mind, ego, all of them are not lost. They become dormant. They become one with the consciousness. And therefore, that consciousness is the supreme that he sums up in the sixth sloka. Yesha Sarveshwaraha is the law. Yesha Sarvagnaha, he knows everything. Yeshaha Antaryami, he is the one who controls everything from inside. Yesha Yonihi Sarvasya, he is the womb of everything. Prabhaha Apyayohi Utama, he is the origin, dissolution, and sustenance of everything. This pragna. With that, he finishes three padas. The fourth pada is the most important, which Gurudev says you must memorize. Anta pregna, bhai pregna. Next class, we shall see. Right? Om Purnamada, Purnamadam, Purna, Purnamada, Chate, Purnasya, Purnamadaya, Purnamiva, Vasishate, Om Shanti, 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 Hari Hi, Om Sri Guru, Yonamaha, Hari Hi, Guru. Om Shri Chinmaya, Sadguravya,